Welcome back everyone. I apologize ahead of time if I sound weird. My, my allergies are going crazy and I thought it would help if I drank a couple drops of peppermint essential oil. <laughs> so now my face is on fire and it's just going downhill from here. So <laughs> please bear with me. In this video we are going to be talking about typecasting. Oh, I can hardly breathe. <laughs> oh, so to begin, we are going to create a new program to solve some more math. <laughs> you know, and this one's gonna be a little less serious because serious math can be pretty boring sometimes. So let's, you know, let's start a new file, vim eggs.c. <laughs> we will include the standard input and output, and then we are going to open our main function and then return zero. Now, what exactly are we trying to accomplish here? Let's say we are writing a program for a chicken company <laughs> and this company wants software that tells them how many dozens of eggs they produce in a day. So each night a guy enters in how many eggs they've gotten and then the output is how many dozen that is. Yeah, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is take the number and divide it by 12. But I'm going to illustrate some cool points in this video. So for those of you who don't know, a dozen, this is a unit that is 12. So if you have a dozen chicken eggs, you have 12 eggs. So we're going to need a variable to store the number of eggs. We will just say int eggs. We'll declare that. And now we're going to get the value from the user. Percent %i. And then we're going to need the address of operator because we're changing the value of the variable. Now we need to also give a prompt to the user so they know what to do. So up here, we could say print f and say something like the number of eggs for the day. And now we can go down here and I just like to space my code out a little bit so it's a little easier to read. We need a new variable to store how many dozens of eggs there are. So we are going to use the double data type because you know we could have a half dozen or a two third dozen. So we always want to use a double data type when we're going to have decimals or fractions. We'll just call this dozen and we'll make it equal to eggs divided by 12. And then finally, we want to print how many dozen eggs they have. And we're going to want to use the percent %f conversion character because this is a double data type, which is part of the floating point data types, which we'll learn about those soon, as I said. So... <laughs> I'll shut up now. A dozen eggs, <laughs> and then we'll end it with a new line character. Now the variable we're going to pass in to the percent %f is dozen. Now let's run this program and see if everything works as expected. So we'll save it and close, and gcc eggs.c. A dot out. The number of eggs for the day. Hmm, let's say we're not having a very good day and we only produce 24 eggs. The output is two dozen eggs, which is correct. So it seems to be working, right? Mm, not quite. There's actually a serious problem in our program. And that is the main topic of this video that I want to talk about. Let's try it with a different number of eggs. Let's run it again. This time, you know, we're even having a slower day than last time. And we only produce 18 eggs. Oh, we have one dozen eggs? Huh, that, that's not right. What the heck? The problem here has to do with data type arithmetic. Let's go back in our code and try to fix this little bug, which if I haven't mentioned it yet, bugs, that is when something is wrong with your program. So we need to squash this bug. Vim. Okay, let's figure it out. Where do we get the number one? Well, we can kind of go down to about where that value is coming from. It's probably coming from around here because that's where the value is calculated. The problem behind the incorrect output is that we are taking an integer, eggs, from up here. You see here that it's an integer. And we are dividing it by an integer. C will assume that when we are dividing an integer by an integer, that we want the output to be an integer. This means even though we put in the value 18, we don't get the value we were expecting. Because if you think about it, 18 divided by 12, I think that equals one and a half. And because we are using integers, this 1.5 will actually become 1.0. The reason it has the point zero 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 after it is because we're actually storing it into a double. So if we wanted to be a little bit more correct, 1.5 becomes an integer, so it becomes 1, 
And then we store the one into a double data type, so we get 1.000. Yeah, I know, it's kind of confusing. It's kind of dumb when you first start, and it'll probably annoy the heck out of you. But eventually, you'll figure it out, you'll understand that, hey, if we are dividing two integers by each other, the result is going to be an integer, even if mathematically it should have some fractional part in the decimals. So how do we fix this? Well, whenever we have a double inside of arithmetic, then the result will be a double. So we could add a 0.0 to the 12. Now we are saying, hey, we're working with an integer and a double. That means we want the result to be a double. The final result then would be 1.5. This is one way of doing it, but it's not always going to work. You're not always going to be able to just go in here and add a point zero to whatever we're working with. For example, we might not be hard coding the value in here. In that situation, we are going to need something else. And that thing is called typecasting, as I mentioned in the very beginning of this video. Typecasting is when we change the data type of some value. This is the more sophisticated way to get the correct output. So to do typecasting, it's very simple. All we have to do is say what data type we want the value to be inside of parentheses inside of the expression. So I gotta get rid of that comment. So let's say we want to convert eggs to a double. Simple as that. Which way you prefer is up to you, but to summarize, you can either put the data type in parentheses before the variable, or you could add a zero to a specific constant. I am going to go with the typecasting way. Now, you have to be careful with typecasting. You always want to make sure you are casting what you think you are casting. So for example, what if I did something like this? And I threw both of these inside of parentheses. Now what's going to happen is we're going to do the math and then convert it to a double. Another way to think about it is that the double here only affects the first thing to the right of it. When we didn't have the parentheses, it just changed eggs. It didn't change 12 as well. The end result here is still going to be incorrect because we're using integer division and the result will be one if we pass in something like 16, even though it should be 1.5. But once we have one in here, we then convert the one to a double and we get 1.0. So you can see how if you're not careful, you might be trying to cast something, but you're not casting it the correct way. So in this situation, we need to get rid of these parentheses and just cast the eggs to a double. Now let's save this and make sure the result is as we expected. Make sure you recompile every time you change anything. Number of eggs for the day, 18. And you have one and a half dozen eggs. Awesome. So thanks guys for watching. If this was helpful, please be sure to click like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And in the next video, we are going to be talking about strings. And that is a very important part of programming, so be sure to check it out. Thanks.